story. Hi guys and welcome to another November video. Today we are going to talk about clothing materials and how to choose perfect and sustainable and ethical clothing. So obviously if you're gonna choose naturally sourced materials for your clothing they will often last longer and they will also have a lower impact on the ecosystems which is awesome. Cotton is the basic material in our wardrobes. Organic cotton doesn't use pesticides and chemicals for its growing so if you're gonna buy something made out of cotton please make sure that it has its label on it. Linen is another plant-based material made out of flax seeds. Mm. Flax plant, sorry. It's gonna keep you cool in the summer and it's gonna make warmth in winter. It might get a little wrinkly so hemp as well as bamboo are very nice sources of uh, natural fabrics. They grow very quickly and without chemicals and pesticides. They are used for active wear and they are perfect alternative for uh, synthetic materials. If you like denim, please make sure that if you buy something, for example like jeans or a jacket made out of denim, make sure that you purchase organic fabrics like organic cotton. Silk and wool are luxurious, long-lasting materials. I'm not wearing silk and I'm not wearing wool as well because I am a vegan and it doesn't match in my ethics. But anyway, if you like the materials, you can buy them because they are gonna last a very long time. This one is actually very interesting because if you like leather, well, I'm not wearing leather because I'm vegan again, but if you like the weather, there are actually perfect alternatives for that. And that is pineapple leather, which is actually now um, a new trend in the fashion industry. Actually, I have never seen something made out of a pineapple leather. Have you? And now I am interested in what kind of fabrics are you using and what kind of materials are in your wardrobe. Please let me know down in the comments and um, if you want to know more about this topic make sure you check my blog, check me on the Instagram and don't forget to tag me and put a hashtag of November to it so I can see how you are reducing your waste. And don't forget to subscribe. I see you tomorrow. Bye.